Hi, my name is Melissa Daniels and I have strabismus. And this is the fourth video in a series of videos I'm doing about strabismus and amblyopia and the types of vision therapy exercises that I think every single one of us should be doing in our vision therapy programs. And I'm talking specifically about in-office vision therapy. Um, if you've seen my other videos, I am not a supporter of do-it-yourself vision therapy just because I guess you're gonna have to do a lot of home exercises and all of that but you need the direction of an optometrist. So this is for people who are doing in-office vision therapy, trying to make the best of it, and I wanna empower you to take the steps to make it as effective as possible. If you want more resources, go over to learn.strabismussolutions.com. You can schedule a call with me, you can purchase my Mastering Peripheral course, which is amazing, or you can get some of my free downloads to help you know a little bit more about which direction might be best for you to go right now. So far in this series, we have talked about how important it is to do different eye stretches to keep all of those muscles flexible, especially if you've had surgery and a lot of scar tissue. We've talked about the importance of starting peripherally and working in toward central vision. We talked about in the last video about some different exercises that can help you get that peripheral fusion. And in this video, we're gonna talk about Another type of exercise that you can do more at home, um, maybe not, you'll do it in the office too, but it'll be more of a home exercise that really helps you get that fusion peripherally and ignoring the central details. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about when I go from peripheral to central and all of that, go back and watch a second video and there's a lot of different explanations that are really gonna help you understand that concept. Um, the reason I wanted to highlight this type of exercise, luster, is because when I first was introduced to this exercise, I thought it was so dumb. I skipped it. Okay, guys, I was like, this is not flashy enough. It's not gonna do anything, and I kind of skipped it. And I've done videos about luster before, but I just had to include it in this series because it is so important. And your optometrist probably has prescribed it or will prescribe it for home therapy, and you might have the temptation to skip it because it is so boring. Um, but I'm telling you, it is really important. So what is luster? Um, luster is an exercise where you're going to be wearing red and green glasses or red and blue glasses, it doesn't really matter. And you just look at something white, like a white board or a white wall or a white balloon or just any series of white things. And what should happen is that one eye should see that object as green and the other eye sees that object as red. And if you have great vision, then those two things should mix together and you get something called luster. And it's a mixture of the two colors and it's different. Some people call it orange, some people call it like brown, white, like I don't know. There's a lot of different things. It's just a mixture. Sometimes I'm not sure if I'm seeing it, so I'll cover one eye and be like, okay, that's what bright red looks like. Okay, that's what green looks like. Am I seeing one or the other? No, I'm seeing a mixture of the two. Um, so. You'll do this in a lot of different ways. This exercise was huge for me and getting my brain to just be comfortable using both my eyes together and getting that perfect mixture, right? It's not like I'm looking at a piece of paper and I see half of it is green, half of it is red. It starts mixing together. It's almost like it, it can start swirling together and then it becomes one color. There are so many different ways to do this exercise. Um, in general, if you are super close to the white paper, it's gonna be easiest, and then you slowly try to back away and keep that luster, that mixture of the two colors. Um, you can do it on a, a small object, you can do it with a flashlight, you can do, I mean, there's like a lot of different ways that you can do luster activities. The most effective one that I have found of all time, I learned about when I was in Toronto at um, a convention for vision therapy, and I had struggled with luster, like I could kind of get it and it had, it had made a difference for me even though I wasn't able to do it perfectly and get a perfect mix. I was getting some mix and that was good and I was introduced to something called the Slotnik Swirl and it was so amazing. Like I was in a class about strabismus and they're like telling all the, I was with a bunch of optometrists and <laughs> they were like, you know, you can try this thing out and I was like, what is it? So I Googled it and it was like five bucks to purchase this like a YouTube video. I bought it in the class and I put on the glasses and I was like, oh my gosh, it's working. Like I'm getting the mixture. 
And all it is is a YouTube video. It's like 15 minutes long and there's a big black square. The whole screen's black and then a white circle in the middle. And there's like this little spinny star in the middle going around. And for some reason, Dr. Slotnick is an optometrist over kind of by New York. I can't remember if it's New York or it's one of those back east um, areas. But she just created it and for some reason it is magical and it helps me see the luster so much. So the idea is that you're looking at this white circle and you should see, you know, with one eye a green circle, one eye a red circle. And together, it's it's mixed together, right? You're getting that orangish, lustery color. And there's just like this spinning star in the middle and it is magic, guys. I put that, it's, since it's YouTube, I can easily get it on my TV. So I've got it on this humongous screen and I'm getting that luster. So I would recommend, I'll put a link for that in the comments. If you're in vision therapy and you've been given luster exercises and it is a challenge, go download it. It's $5. It is an amazing resource and luster is going to help your brain become more comfortable with fusion. It's a very peripheral type exercise. You're not talking about any of those central details. So it's not as likely to create that double vision. Um, so don't skip this. When your vision therapist sends you home with luster activities, make that the one you put the most time into because it is going to be so important for your success. Um, I'm curious how you've done luster, different types of luster activities through your vision therapy. Um, if you've done it with, you know, some people do it with a balloon, different things like that. I, I struggle with the moving targets. It's just a lot easier for me to have something that's stationary, especially like the TV, and I start really close and then I back up and try to get it to the point where I can do these exercises at any distance. Um, good luck. Make sure that you're advocating for yourself. If you're in vision therapy and you have strabismus or amblyopia and you've never done a luster exercise, bring it up with your vision therapist. Say, hey, I heard about luster. What do you think about it? Like, do you think I should do this slot and egg swirl thing? Show them and they're going to be like, totally. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, let's try it. Let's see what happens. Um, there's a lot of different ways to do vision therapy. That was one of those major pieces that made a huge difference for me. So give it a try. Let me know how it goes and I'll see you in the next video.